Episode 1, The Hidden Heroes of Radiotherapy Engineering. Hey everyone, welcome to the Beam Centerline, the podcast where science, technology, and real-world impact collide. I'm Tenmei, and today we're diving into a field that blends cutting-edge engineering with life-saving medical treatments. If you're interested in tech that makes a real difference, stick around. This might just be your future career. Let's start with the basics. You've probably heard of radiation therapy for cancer treatment. But what most people don't realize is that behind every successful treatment, there's a team of engineers making sure the technology works flawlessly. Radiotherapy engineers design, maintain, and innovate the machines that deliver precise radiation to destroy cancer cells. And this isn't just any tech. These machines require accuracy down to fractions of a millimeter. A small mistake in calibration can mean the difference between targeting a tumor and harming healthy tissue. Think of it like this. If an MRI machine is like a high-resolution camera taking pictures of your insides, a linear accelerator, or LINAC, is more like a precision-guided laser. And that's where engineers come in, to keep these machines running, improving, and pushing the boundaries of medical science. Now, let's talk engineering. This field is a mix of multiple disciplines. Medical physics, understanding how radiation interacts with the human body. Electrical engineering, designing and maintaining the microwave-powered electron accelerators. Mechanical engineering, ensuring the complex moving parts operate flawlessly. Software and AI, developing imaging algorithms and AI-assisted treatment planning. Early radiotherapy machines were just modified X-ray tubes. Today, we use microwave technology to accelerate electrons to nearly the speed of light, creating high-energy beams that precisely target cancer cells. In the future, proton therapy, MRI-guided radiation, and AI-driven treatment planning, where radiation doses adjust in real time as the tumor moves inside the body. That's next-level precision. So what does a radiotherapy engineer actually do? Here's what a typical day might look like. Machine calibration and maintenance. Making sure every treatment is delivered with pinpoint accuracy. Treatment planning and software development. Fine-tuning AI powered algorithms to maximize cancer targeting while minimizing side effects. Quality assurance testing, running diagnostics to catch the tiniest inconsistencies before they become a problem. R&D in emerging tech, innovating with AI, robotics, and imaging to improve treatments. Right now, companies are developing MRI-guided radiation therapy, which allows doctors to see tumors in real time during treatment. Imagine a system that automatically adjusts radiation dosage based on live imaging. That's what's coming next. If this sounds like the kind of work you'd love to do, here's where you can start exploring career opportunities. Some of the biggest players in radiotherapy technology include Varian, a Siemens Health and Ears company, a global leader in radiation therapy equipment, Electa, pioneering MRI-guided radiotherapy, Accuray, specializing in high-precision treatments like CyberKnife and tomotherapy, IBA, ion beam applications, a major name in proton therapy. Brain Lab, focused on AI-driven medical imaging and radiation planning. And in terms of career paths, you could be a radiotherapy service engineer, keeping hospital equipment running perfectly. R&D engineer, innovating next-gen radiotherapy technology. Medical device engineer, designing the future of cancer treatment machines. Clinical application specialist, helping hospitals implement and optimize new technology. Regulatory and Compliance Specialist, ensuring safety and effectiveness in medical equipment. Now, if you're wondering how to break into this field, here's your roadmap. What to study? Biomedical engineering, great for medical device design. Medical physics, essential for understanding radiation therapy. Electrical and mechanical engineering, crucial for machine design and maintenance. Software and AI. The future of precision medicine is data-driven. Top universities offering great programs. Stanford University, a leader in AI-driven medical research. Johns Hopkins University, known for top-tier biomedical engineering. Cambridge and Imperial College London, strong in medical physics and radiotherapy, R&D. ETH Zurich and TU Munich, engineering innovation in healthcare. If you're currently studying engineering, look into specializations in medical imaging, AI in healthcare, or radiation physics to set yourself apart. And getting an internship with companies like Varian, Electa, or IBA is a great way to gain hands-on experience. And here's the best part. 
This isn't just a high paying career. Yes, salaries start between $60,000 to $90,000, and experienced engineers make $130,000 plus, but more importantly, it's a career with impact. Every project you work on, every system you improve, directly affects patient care. Imagine knowing that a piece of technology you developed helped a doctor treat cancer more effectively. If this episode got you thinking about a career in radiotherapy engineering, there's more where that came from. Got a question or a topic you'd love to hear about? Let me know. Subscribe to the GoBio Ing channel on YouTube for more deep dives into biomedical engineering. Check out link to gobioeng.com for career guides, industry insights, and exclusive content. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, keep exploring, keep innovating, and keep making a difference.